Okay, so let's talk about Blue Beetle, the latest film from DC. And this one's directed by Angel Manuel Soto, who is the director of other films. Uh, one of his films in particular, La Granja, which was a definitely must watch for sure. And we also have Solo Maridueña, who is known, of course, from Cobra Kai as well. And this is one of those films that I was just anticipating so much. And I really have to tell you, the trailer does not give this film any justice because the film is just definitely incredible. So let's get into it. But before we do, I want to ask you for a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. We're currently running our giveaway. We'll announce a giveaway winner this weekend. You can still enter, but it's all up until Thursday. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment below why you want to enter the giveaway and also your favorite film of the year so far. But let's get right into Blue Beetle, my thoughts and opinions on it, and if it's worth seeing in theaters. So first and foremost, I really do think Angel Manuel Soto really does a great job at the Latin representation here because a lot of times in a lot of Latin, Hispanic, whatever you want to call it, um, representation, you see the same tropes be used a lot and it can kind of get a little bit like, yeah, that's the same thing over and over, right? And sometimes it can be a little bit like, like too much you know like I am definitely wondering how many times do we have to hear about La Chancla but regardless of that I think Ahana Nesoto does a very great job at portraying a real Latin Hispanic family especially like if you grew up in the United States and everything in your family and all of that you know it was just like this and that's definitely one of the big things I really enjoyed about the film is that we had these moments that felt very in particular and it was just like, you saw parts of your family up there with this family that Angel Manuel and the writer and everybody came up with for Blue Beetle here. And I think everybody involved here from Zolo and all of his family as well, just did a great job at really portraying what it is to be this Hispanic Latin family in the United States, especially with a lot of things going on still today. I thought that that was a very important aspect of Blue Beetle. And that's one of the best parts about Blue Beetle is that first and foremost, it's a movie about family and about Jaime, it's all, that's basically the premise of it. You see these characters and you see them develop. Nobody felt two dimensional. All of these characters had layers to them and you really felt like each one of them had their own uh, personal things going on at the same time, which is something that's important to me, I think when it comes to a film, is first and foremost, I need to care about the character. Story can come second, whatever, but the characters, I have to feel something for them. And I think everybody involved here did a great job at that. Also for a film that's sort of starting up this world and being like apparently the beginning of the DCU I think this is definitely a great way to start it off because Palmera City very much so felt like its own thing and although there's sprinkles here of Batman Flash Superman all of that at the end of the day Blue Beetle is all I needed to see honestly and by the time we were done with it I want to see more Blue Beetle as well I think the action here as well is amazing I think some of these scenes here look very good honestly and you know when I was first hearing about Blue Beetle I saw the trailer and all of that I was worried we were gonna get something that felt too much like Iron Man and all of that completely the opposite this feels like its own thing would love to see more Blue Beetle and all of their family here because I think that they really do a good job at building this world of building these characters for the future and I'm definitely ready to see more of that when it comes to the villain and all of that as well I really did enjoy that it didn't feel like something like a 2d dimensional villain and that's something that the trailer kind of comes off as to be and you know I, I think it was great that you go into these expectations not really expecting to see much of it but at the same same time I feel like more people would definitely benefit from seeing that this is setting up something great honestly and I will tell you I cried about three or four times during this movie there's just so many emotional moments the beats and everything the pacing is great as well a two hour long run of this movie I was wondering if I was going to ever feel bored or anything like that especially me not really knowing about Blue Beetle you're totally fine I did not know anything about Blue Beetle uh, besides him being in justice uh, but other than that I had no clue about Blue Beetle but I think this movie is very good at that that you don't really need to know much about the character or anything of that it is just a great movie overall from beginning to end and I definitely do recommend it for sure Overall, like I said, great action, great story, great characters. Music is amazing as well. This very synth-like music here was something that I wasn't expecting, and I very much enjoyed it. You had a little bit of body horror here and there. There's even some references to Kronos and things like that as well. And 
the references go crazy, especially if you um, ever grew up in a, a Latin Hispanic household and all the TV shows, things like that. I won't give spoilers here because it's just great to see it happen. It is just something that's just going to like warm your heart and give you a smile as you watch all of these things play out on the big screen. And like I said, there is so much here to love about it. So much style from Ahemano Soto. A great script written by the writer as well. And Zolo really emphasizes the heart of the family here and really pours that out there so you got a movie with a lot of style but at the end of the day it still has substance and it still has a ton of heart and it is just one of my favorite movies of the year so far and i'm thinking it's my favorite comic book movie of the year i think i really do think that at first i was thinking um guardians of the galaxy and this one were kind of like hand in hand but i now that i think about it i slept on it and all of that you guys i think that blue beetle is my favorite comic book movie of the year and it's definitely my top 10 for sure right now i gotta rearrange all of my movies but i definitely do think blue beetle is the real deal i'm excited to see more of what they bring here i want angel on this zolo on this on a sequel and all of that we'll talk about the ending we'll talk about the post credits tomorrow so stay tuned for that but let me know your thoughts and opinions once you see blue beetle if you enjoyed it or not if you're planning to watch it Definitely hoping we get a ton more of this because I think Blue Beetle is such an important film uh, for representation and all of that. So definitely support this movie, give it all, and let's see how it does. But overall, definitely worth seeing. I'm going to give Blue Beetle five out of five stars, honestly. That's just my opinion. I, I love this movie. I really do. If you don't, it's totally fine. If you want to give it a three, a two, a one, a zero, that's up to you, but I'm giving it five out of five. But that's just me. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on it down below. Make sure you follow us for all the things you love. We are going to be doing more videos, so don't worry about that. We just have been um, going back and forth with other projects. We're doing behind the scenes as well, so that's the reason, the lack of videos, but we're getting back into making more videos, so stay tuned for those. We do have some more horror stuff coming as we get into spooky season, so definitely, definitely stay Stay tuned here but as always let me know your thoughts and opinions make sure you're entering our contest the uh, cutoff date is tomorrow on friday we'll announce a winner all you have to do is be subscribed and comment below anything whether you're going to see blue beetle or not or just your favorite movie of the year everything's fine and as always that's going to do it for me i'll see all of you next time stay safe stay positive